What's up guys, we are back here with Final Fantasy trading card game Opius 1. This is the brand new trading card game that is just released in America. And we are doing an unboxing and opening here. These packs are sold out everywhere here in America. And we've heard that the shipments are not coming uh, back until like January. This It sucks. Uh, the supply is very limited. The first nine cards are common. You can see down at the bottom here, uh, there is a little C by the numbers of the card. And then you get to the foil card here. And this is a starter card. So you can get the starter cards as a foil variation in these boxes, in these booster boxes. And then you have three rare cards. So once again, down at the very bottom, there is the rarity of the cards. Oh, we got Titus here. And then they have attack values. And that also dubs as their defense values. And then the last card here is your heroic or legendary if you get lucky. So we're going to open up seven in this video since we messed up last video and it only opened up five. We got too excited getting three legendaries in five packs. So the commons you're going to see a lot of, and wow, we actually almost got two of the exact same character. Snow! Heroic foil. The cards, there is such great quality too. And an Onion Knight. So all your classic and favorites are here. We got Bart's. It's so cool seeing your favorite characters in a different light. And the game itself is really fun. So we just started playing a little bit today. And it's pretty simple to learn. They got some great tutorial videos online. And if you played any TCGs before trading card games, you should be able to pick this up pretty quick. So any card can be a foil here. We got a common red mage. So if you are an uber collector, ooh, Terra, this looks awesome here. If you're an uber collector, you're going to probably want to have a complete set of foils. Ooh, Ricard. So the artwork is awesome. I love the artwork. The game is great. These cards just like so smooth and it almost feels like they have a like protective case on them already. Highly recommend grabbing some of these cards if you can. Starter decks are 15 bucks and then the booster packs are four bucks retail. But again, they are sold out everywhere. If you can find them, grab them guys. These are gonna be, uh, you know, uber rare, super collectible. They're already being gobbled up like crazy by the Final Fantasy fans. Seeing a whole bunch on eBay as well. Get bold. And this is just the first set. There's so much more to come. So we got Squall there as a legendary too. There's like over 2,000 cards in Japan. We're about six years behind uh, the Japanese. Kate Sith. Summoner. Just looks like a common. Warrior of Light. Ooh, Sephiroth. Saz. I am so hyped. I wish there were so many more boosters available. Uh, the stores that I went to today, we traveled about 100 miles to find these cards. That's how crazy. And we're in a uh, very populated city. We're in San Diego, California. We have millions of people here in this town. And there's only three stores within 100 miles of us that actually got cards. And they only got a total of eight boxes. Maria. So last pack here. That's how rare and scarce these cards are. And this is a trading card game again, guys. So it's a game you actually play with these cards. If you know anything about trading card games, you need to have hundreds upon hundreds of cards to make decks and then to compete with others. You can't have a trading card game with eight boxes for millions of people in our you know local area. I mean, personally, we picked up three boxes ourselves. So we're going to do a whole bunch of unboxing 
keep it locked here to the channel. We'll do some deck building, some strategies, but we are a complete noob, complete beginner at this game. We are just starting out today, as is really anyone, unless they've imported the game from Japan or checked out guides and stuff or know how to speak, read Japanese. So it's really, really cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you guys later.